Welcome to this video on area approximation. I'm going to show you how we go about trapezium rule, middle limit rule, and integration method, which is the exact method of uh, calculating the area below the curve. And we are also going to establish the error arising in using the big ordinate rule. So let's get started. So our solution is right here the first thing that i'm going to advise you to always make sure that you have is a diagrammatic representation of the curve from x equals to zero to x equals to two and you also focus on the number of strips that you have in our case we have four strips so i'm going to sketch the curve so i'm having y is equals to x squared minus two x from x equals to zero to x equals to two and i'm having four strips all right so to sketch that i will have my diagram okay. so when x is equals to zero think y is zero so it starts at the origin when x equals to one it's like i'm having one squared minus a two that's the shape of our curve it looks like that all right yeah so this is our two because when you set the whole equation equal to zero it will factor into x minus 2 equals to 0. So either x is 0 or x is equals to 2. So x 0, x equals to 2. And now because we are told four strips, we are going to take 2 minus 0 over 4. This is x equals to 2, x equals to 0 over the number of strips to get the height, which is, or the width, which is half. So we are going to move from 0 to half. At 0 0.5 then we go to 1 we go to 1.5 hence 2 so we have our height here is 1 I mean it's 0 0.5 because now we have a half 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 so four halves make two all right so now this is the curve y is equals to x squared minus 2x and we want to start with trapezium rule now the formula says area is equals to a half times height into y naught plus y n plus twice y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus dot dot up to y n minus one all right so where this h is the width of the strip all right so we are going to have x value values and the corresponding y values so when x is 0 0.5 uh, 1 1.5 then 2 so what is our y when x is 0 0.5 we are going to substitute 0 0.5 in here then we get the corresponding y value so I'm going to have 0 0.5 0 0.5 square minus 2 into bracket 0 0.5 that is going to be negative uh, 0 0.75 then 1 if you substitute 1 here you're going to have 1 squared so that's 1 minus 2 which is negative 1 and then when you substitute 1.5 you're going to have 1.5 uh, square minus 2 into 1.5 you're going to have negative 0 0.75 then finally 2 squared minus 2 will give us 0 right so those are the corresponding y values as far as x values are concerned now what is our formula our formula says a half times h which is a half into the last value that is negative 0 0.75 and the first value which is that then plus 2 into uh, minus 1 minus 0 0.75 why i'm saying minus it is because minus times plus is negative so here we are going to have a quarter into minus 0 0.75 then in here whatever is in here we're going to have minus 1 minus 0 0.75 we're going to have minus 1.75 times 2 so we are going to have minus 3 0.5 my 
if you work out you're going to have minus 0 0.75 then you divide by 4 you're going to have negative 1.0625 now the area cannot be negative so it means we have to flap like our diagram this way so that now it falls below the x-axis so we know the negative and we know the area is 1.0625 square units the area is not supposed to be negative supposed to be positive so our diagram lies our curve lies below the x-axis according to this area here now using the mid ordinate rule so we have our x values here we have 0 0.5 we have uh, 1 we have 1.5 and we have 2 so the numbers that lie in between um, in between 0 and 0 0.5 we need to find them so what is in between 0 0.5 and 0 is we're going to have 0 0.5 plus 0 then we divide by 2 we are going to know that this one is 0 0.25 in between 0 0.5 and 1 we're going to have 0 0.5 plus 1 we divide by 2 we are going to have 0 0.75 in between 1 and 1.5 we are going to have uh, 1.25 and in between 1.5 and 2, we're going to have 1.75. So those are the corresponding x values as far as the mid ordinate rule is concerned. So what is our y value? What we are going to determine in those spaces. So our curve still remains. Y is equals to x squared minus 2x. So when we substitute 0 0.25 as our x value in our equation, we are going to have um, 0 0.25 here. So this becomes negative 0 0.4375. Hope it's clear. Then 0 0.75 square minus 2 into bracket 0 0.75. Uh, we are going to get negative 0 0.9375. No wonder my spacing is wide enough. Then we have 1.25 square minus 2 into one point. Five, right so again I'm going to have the same value here so 1.75 finally minus 2 into 1.75 all right so that becomes negative 0 0.43 like the first one actually so they are all negative because they happen to lie the curve happens to lie below the x-axis so what is our formula for mid ordinate rule area is equals to um, h into y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus dot dot up to yn all right where h is the width of our of our diagram here so the width is this one but now we are talking about these dotted lines here these are the ordinates that we have just established there which i can use a different pen here these are the ordinates we have found in the next page so these are the corresponding ordinates and then the, the width remains as a half so we are going to say this is a half in fact so of y1 is negative 0 0.4375 and because there are two of them we can just multiply by two here then these ones are also two so minus two into 0 0.9375 i have done that one for convenience all right so with that we can take okay answer times two uh, minus two times negative 0 0.9375 that's what i'm having and then you divide by two so we are going to divide that one by two so you're going to have 0 0.5 all right Okay, so we have now by integration, area by integration is given by integral from 0 to 2 of x squared minus 2x dx. We are going to have uh, x cubed over 3 minus x squared from 0 to 2 
So as far as 2 is concerned, we have 8 over 3 minus 4 minus 0, right? So this to me seems like we have 8 over 3 minus 4, which is a negative 1, 1 and a third, all right? So because it is negative, we ignore the negative because area it cannot be negative. It just tells us that the curve lies below the x axis. So the area becomes 1 and a third square units. All right. So with that, we can verify to see whether everything is correct. So we have 1 and a third here. We have um, 1.0625 using the, the trapezium rule. The mid ordinate rule we can confirm whether it is okay from our calculator here so we can take minus 0 0.4375 minus 0 0.4375 minus 0 0.9375 minus 0 0.9375 that's what we are going to have then we divide by 2 so we are going to have negative 1.3. So here, I think we made a mistake here. We should have negative 1.375 square units. So always good to verify so that you get the correct answer. Now with that, we can determine the percentage error arising as a result of uh, approximating the area using the mid ordinate rule and by, by by this we should mean area is never negative 1.375 square units so we say area by integration minus area by uh mid ordinate rule so we're going to have one minus one and that minus 1.375 over the area by integration one and that then times a hundred percent right so with that, we are going to have 1 over 1 over 3 minus 1.375. Then we divide by that. So we are going to have negative 0 0.03125. Then we multiply by 100. We are going to have negative 3.125 percent now what this means it means that the area by approximation has really overestimated so the percentage should be 3.125 percent all right thank you